Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's see how we can use a time trigger to pull in a Trello card and automatically post it to a Slack channel. Let's get started. Starting out, anytime that we want to automate some action to occur on some type of cadence, we can use a time trigger. What the time trigger allows us to do is specify a time such as every day, every week, or something much more frequent. In this example, let's execute our script every day. Once we have our time trigger, pulling in Trello information is very easily done in Wayscript by using the Trello module. We can pull in the Trello module by clicking add step and then putting Trello. After doing that, if you've already signed into an account, you can choose the account over here to the left. If you haven't, you can add an account with this selection here. I've already added a few accounts, so I'll say account one, and then I want to get cards from a board. I'll select the board that I want to use, and then I'll just pull in the card names and then the card descriptions. Pulling this information is very straightforward, and you can pull in more if you want to. Once we have this information, we just need to pass it to that Slack channel. We can do that by clicking add step and then select Slack. Now that we have the Slack module in our function, we can pull in those variables that we imported from the Trello module right in to the message inputs of our Slack message. So we'll drop those in to this blank here. Finally, once we've done this, we can activate our time trigger and then our script will run daily writing to that Slack message information from that Trello board. Of course, there's much more formatting you could do on that Slack message if you wanted to. I just wanted to show you the basics of how you can pull Wayscript variables into the blanks of your Slack message. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. Until next time.